Hello everyone, it's Susie Brooks and I teach IB Environmental Systems and Societies at Del Mar. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is at the lower, shown at the lower right portion of the screen. Just to put a face to my name, here's a picture of me right here. That's my family and me when we were out on a hike, hike slash walk on New Year's Day. So what about the course? So generally it covers um, the relationship between the environment and society. You have to talk about people when you're talking about the environment and focuses are on environmental issues, but also um, solutions and how do we live sustainably on planet Earth. 11th or 12th graders can take the course. It's basically the equivalent of a semester of an environmental course at the college level. Potentially colleges will give um, college credit depending on test scores from IB scores and um, just depending on the college. There is a grade bump for GPAs in high school. This is inquiry lab based. Um, we'll try to get out to the field. We'll definitely have some discussions in the class. We'll try to be very innovative when we talk about solutions and come up with solutions. Um, just like any IB course, it is gonna be pretty fast paced and challenging, but I will help students as much as I can and it's definitely relevant because we've only got one Earth. In terms of the topics that are covered, we'll go over eight topics. Um, these are designed by the IB curriculum, and so you can take a look there. It's everything from values to ecosystems, biodiversity, talking about water, talking about soil, and then food that is grown in both water and soil, talking about the atmosphere, climate change, and then human systems and resource use, which comes in with you know things like human population and waste. Here's another example of some topics. If you get access to the slides, um, you can look at a population um, growth chart there. It's like a real-time estimate. Um, but these are just some sample topics that we'll talk about um, within our set uh, topics from IB. So like environmental value systems, which I mentioned already. Also environmental justice and social justice is a big part of it. The resources that we have on Earth, um, we definitely talk about ecosystems and ecology because a lot of our resources come from those ecosystems. How do we use those resources sustainably and how do we conserve them? Also, water is a big issue. Um, we can't have life without water. Um, pollution, waste management, climate change. How do we conserve soils so that we can continue to grow things like food and have plants that help take out CO2 from the atmosphere? and food production, food choices, and definitely food waste because that's a big issue too. What are the expectations in the course? I hope that any student signing up um, for an IB course is pretty motivated and they have a sort of can-do attitude that they're eager to learn, to take on a challenge. Um, work outside of the class, anywhere between four to six hours can be expected. And it might be just reading, it might be practice, um, sample problems, a variety of different things. And um, I hope students who take the course will help each other and also ask for help as they need it. Um, what about the prerequisites that we have for Del Mar? So students will have to have taken their three years of um, science that is NGSS required. Um, and so that means they have to take physics, they have to take chemistry. In terms of the biology during the junior year, students can take IB environmental while being currently enrolled in either IB Biology Year 1 or in the on-level biology. And then if students choose to take it their senior year, they can take IB Environmental um, with another science course or, not, or maybe just that's their only science course that they're taking that particular year. So um, definitely 11th graders can um, be concurrently enrolled in any of the, uh, like any of the biology classes that we teach. Um, and then 12th graders, um, it's more up to them how many science classes they choose to take on and what their schedule allows. In terms of the diploma, if a student is doing an IB diploma, one of the cool things about environmental systems and societies is that it's considered one of, I believe, two inter interdisciplinary courses. Um, so this class can be offered here in experimental sciences, which is a group four, or individuals and societies, which um, is basically like social studies, or it can actually count as both. So if a student really wants to focus on language, um, whether it's a foreign language or English, 
um, you know, maybe they want to cover their social studies and their science together as uh, one in IBESS. Obviously, you need to take into account other um, course requirements for graduation, too. In terms of the UCs and CSUs, this is considered a physical lab science, so it's an area D. IB grades, um, so those grades come out in early July, um, but basically it's two written IB exams which are taken in May, and then there's also um, an internal assessment or the IA, and that's usually due late February. For the DMHS grade, for our high school grade, it'll be very similar to um, other science courses, topic tests, final exams, labs, projects, presentations. The only exception is, is the IA is definitely um, different than most uh, other science classes. So just to give a quick overview, um, the two exams that students will take, one of them is a basically like case study. So they get this resource booklet with all sorts of things like graphs, maps, diagrams, and um, then they answer questions on that. And then the second one is short answer, extended response, and then some essays where they, um, they choose which ones they want to do. The IA um, is an independent investigation um, that students will do uh, regarding an environmental issue or a problem. One cool thing about um, environmental science is that uh, you can do a field-based project, experimental, you could do a social research one where you more send out surveys and you're getting um, biases and opinions on different environmental issues, or you can use a data set that already exists as long as you interpret the data in an um, authentic and new way. So students will write research questions, come up with their methodology, they analyze it, and then they also come up with solutions, and then they evaluate those solutions. And it's approximately 10 hours of individual work time. That's what IB suggests. Here are some students who have done their IAs. So this student was looking at the extent that ocean acidification affects shell organisms in marine ecosystems. So he tried out various um, solutions with different pHs and saw the effect on those uh, shells. We had another student um, take a look at ozone and how um, being closer to a freeway um, impacts the tropospheric ozone, so the ground level ozone experienced by inhabitants. Another student was taking a look at the biodiversity um, as through different urban areas of the Los Gatos Creek, so from up higher in the mountains where there was low urbanization down to where the houses go right up against the walls along the Los Gatos Creek. Um, other examples are here too. Um, so as you can see, they can be lab, field-based, they can be social, they can be a combination um, of multiple types of research. Um, so there are lots of different things. So for example, a social research um, IA might be something like how does identified gender affect recycling tendencies? So the, the student who did this um, sent out a survey and then analyzed all the data. In terms of summer assignments, so if you've got the slides, you can click on anything that's blue in here. Um, I will definitely have Ms. Olamet send this out. It's totally, totally optional, and really it's just to get familiarized with um, some sample IAs, just so students can start thinking about what kinds of things they might want to research. Um, but again, it's definitely optional. It's just more so that students can get their brains thinking about um, topics they might be interested in. Here's a little video from former students. Hi, I'm Eliza Hallinan. I graduated from Del Mar High School in 2019 with the International Baccalaureate Diploma, and currently I am a freshman at Carnegie Mellon University. When I was at Del Mar, I was drawn to the IB Environmental Systems and Societies class because I was curious about humanity's relationship with the environment. This class taught me about major issues that are in the news almost every day, um, things like water politics, the impacts of our carbon footprint, and how ecosystems change over time. I would highly recommend this class so you can become a more environmentally conscious individual and better understand how we impact the earth. Thank you. Hello, my name is Chris Lorzano and I took IB ESS because of how relevant it is in today's world with climate change being one of the biggest issues that we're facing and I recommend it because of how it makes us more self-aware of how we impact our own planet in ways we can make it more sustainable. If there are any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, my email is sbrooks at cuhsd.org. Thanks so much.